Hello folks. Well, I've been encouraged to make this video by some friends, and not for sympathy, but just as a preventative warning, just to detail what I have experienced so far and what cancer radiation therapy is all about. So the whole point of this video is to encourage you to get a physical before it may be too late. The alternate is that the cancer would grow into the hip and other organs and that would be a very painful way to die. I get a physical every six months from the VA. It is a benefit that I get for serving 34 years in the Marine Corps aviation field. So for the past few years my PSA score has continuously gone up. That is a test that measures your prostate. You know that many doctors, they'll make you bend over and they reach inside to feel if your prostate gland is swollen. In my case it's not, but the PSA test suggested there was a problem as it's high over 9. So the next thing decided was to have a CAT scan so that they could actually see my prostate. I was scheduled to go to Sanford Medical Center last January for it and it went like this. First they put me in a big and very noisy machine for about 45 minutes. It's not painful, but it's pretty loud. The nurse gave me earphones and asked what kind of music I liked. I said 70s and that's what began playing. You can still hear the loud banging sounds, but the earphones definitely helped. So after that was done, a few days later I got a call to schedule for an appointment with the urologist at the VA hospital. I got it scheduled and I went to see him. He showed me on the computer the lesion of my prostate gland. So next he suggested that I get a biopsy. That's really the only way to see if it was cancerous. So I reluctantly said okay. This procedure was then scheduled and I went to have that and this is how that went. The procedure required the doctor going in through my butt and slicing 11 pieces of skin off the prostate. Then they send that off to the lab and they'll find out if it's cancerous. Now I can tell you it really didn't hurt, but I was nervous as hell because I was awake. Hearing those strange sounds each time he cut is the worst part. So I can tell you after that procedure, I peed red for a week and that's pretty scary. But eventually that went away and the doctor said this was normal. So then I get scheduled to go for another appointment where the urologist informs me that the leisure actually is cancer. He asked me if I was ever exposed to Agent Orange, and of course we all were who were there. I have pictures of them actually spraying the stuff around the base at Da Nang all the time. The doctor told me that Agent Orange has proven to cause prostate cancer, and that is most likely why I got it. Of course we did not know it was cancer causing at the time. By the way, Agent Orange is not orange, it's clear. It was called Agent Orange because the 55 gallon drums that came in had big orange stripe around it. There was also Agent Green and Agent Yellow as I recall. Anyway, the doctor tells me that it's non-aggressive and since it was summer we decided to let it go for three months to see what happens. Well, at the end of three months I was scheduled to see him and I did. Again, the PSA is still going up and this time he suggested doing another biopsy, but this time they would take 21 slices of the prostate. I said back to him, well, you already know it's cancer, why would you need another biopsy? He said they just wanted to make sure it hasn't spread, something that the CAT scans can't tell about the outlying areas. So I said, well, I really would rather just get on with trying to cure it and skip that biopsy again, as I remember what it was like the last time. So, I was offered two options. Remove the prostate entirely or get radiation therapy. Well, big decision. I had friends who had it removed and it took a long recovery and there were a lot of side effects that I really felt that I didn't want to do. You know, I'm 75 and you all know I have a very active lifestyle including roller skating every Sunday at the rink. So I decided I would go ahead and try the radiation therapy instead. So this time the VA sent me out to Sanford Hospital again for a different kind of scan. It was a PSA PET scan, which would make it easier for them to see what was really going on and in more depth. So after that, I saw the VA urologist again and we decided where I could go to radiation therapy. He said it's typically 39 treatments every day. So that's a lot of driving to Sioux Falls, which is 70 miles one way every day for a 20 minute visit. 
So I'd seen an ad for Sanford Hospital in Worthing, Minnesota a few years ago touting their new cancer center and radiation machine that can do the job in only five treatments, and that's only 20 miles away from me one way. So we agreed to do it that way, and he scheduled me an appointment. And this is what happened next. Well, it turned out the first appointment was basically an indoctrination. My wife and I went into a room and watched a 15-minute video explaining the entire process. After that, the actual doctor came in and introduced himself. We talked, and he answered all of my questions. I really liked him. But when I said I wanted the five treatments, he said they don't recommend that anymore because the side effects turned out to be too much for most people, so he recommended 28. He also said there was two ways to do it. First, I would have to go back to Sioux Falls to the Sanford Hospital where I had the scans first done, and they would put me out with the anesthesia and then go in and attach gold markers on my prostate. That is so they can aim the beam better. I thought, oh no, not another trip and I really don't like being put under. I said, do I have to do that? And he said, no. He said he's done this treatment for years long before they started putting markers on. I said, well, can you still do it? And are you a good aim? <laughs> he laughed and said, yes. And I said, okay. He said there's a whole team that's going to analyze the results of the other scans and work out the best possible tactics to attack the cancerous area. So then he tells me how the schedule is going to be. He says it's done every day except Saturday and Sunday. So 39 times is like two months and I have to drive up to the cancer center 20 miles away each day. Well that sounds like a grueling schedule because sometimes we're buried in snow here. So I again I agreed and we move forward and I get scheduled for the preliminary scan a different day. I'm instructed it is very important before the next scan so that I have to take milk of magnesia the night before to clean me out and 30 minutes before the appointment I'm told I have to pee then right away drink 40 ounces of water. I'm told the reason for this is that with an empty bowel and a full bladder it makes the prostate stand out and it's easier to see and aim at. So this last week I went to the preliminary and was greeted by two radiation technicians who are going to be doing my treatment every day, same people, Amber and Ashley. I'm then led into a small dressing room and required to undress. T-shirts and socks I can leave on but everything else off. You know, trying to tie that split robe in the back is such a pain and embarrassing as well to walk around in it. Well, they have me lay down on a table and get situated. First thing they do is put my feet on this deflated pillow type thing and have me hold my hands to this rubber ring to keep my arms from moving as you must lay perfectly still. Well, then the pillow starts to inflate around my legs. When it was full, it became a foam mold that I will put my legs in for every treatment. So again, this is not a treatment. This is a preliminary, another CAT scan for it. It's called a CAT PET. Well, this machine made very little noise, lot like the others, and when done, they put three X marks on me, one on each side and one just above the pubic hair. So a few minutes later, the doctor tells me the bladder was full enough and all clear, so ready to begin the treatments. Treatment only takes a few minutes, but the driving, dressing, and undressing is what takes the time. Also, for the remaining 39 treatments, I must now take Miralax every night before bed, and in the morning, one half hour before the treatment, I need to drink the 40 ounces of water. All right, well, I've arrived for the very first treatment here, and I have been uh, led to a room where I got undressed and led into this other room where the big machine is. So here now, Amber and Ashley answer my questions and explain how the machine works. It basically rotates entirely around me during the process, and that takes about 12 minutes. The beam is a pinpoint beam that comes out of the big head, and it actually focuses itself inside my body right on the tumor. I could tell you that the guy who invented this must have had a lot of nightmares getting it perfected. <laughs> He's probably in a rubber room right now. <laughs> So they lay me down and put my legs in the mold, and next they position me on the table so the laser pointers line up perfectly with the X's they put me on the last visit. 
Then they removed those and put new red ones on this time, which will last the entire process. As you lay there, there's a nice scene above to look at, like laying in a forest of trees, and it's relaxing. Again, it was absolutely painless, and the people were really friendly and nice. Okay, now that my first treatment is done, I will sign off. In eight weeks, I will be done. That's almost two months. And then we will see if it worked. At that time, I'm going to produce another video, and I'm going to tell you the results. Again, this is just a warning to you to get checked before it's too late, especially if you're a Vietnam vet. Please no sympathy messages as I feel fine and still up to eat. Besides, there's a lot of way more ill persons out there than me. So I'm not sure how many videos I'll be able to make during this time that I'm doing this because I don't know how motivated I'm going to be or how I'm going to feel. We'll just have to see how it goes. So this is the Night Flyer signing off for now. Hope to see you next time. Now go to the doctor.